frequently asked question number one. Why is a breathe hole required? Despite posting the frequently asked question number one up, why is a breathe hole required? And repeatedly stating in the instructions given that a breathe hole needs to be uh, installed into the air reservoir. There's still quite a large number of people try to install the regulator into the air reservoir to test it without drilling a breathe hole. Some people are quite successful and the regulator does work for a short period of time. On others, the regulator cavity fills with air straight away because they haven't drilled the breathe hole. This means that the regulator does not work. And when you release the air from the air reservoir, or the air pressure falls in the chamber to less than that which has got into the inside of the reservoir, it quite simply pops the stem seal off of the back of the piston stem and the seal simply ends up floating about at the back of the piston between the uh, soft face of the adjuster screw and the knife edge face of the piston and then the regulator does not work. If you try to fill the gun with air again, uh, the regulator just fills up again or if you then think oh well, I should have drilled the breathe hole and you do drill the breathe hole the air just pisses straight through the regulator out this vent hole and out to the breathe hole at this point people panic because they think they've wrecked their gun and they've broken the regulator this simply isn't the case the case is they tried to fit the regulator without drilling the breathe hole as is required this is very simply rectified once you've got the breathe hole in place. All you do is go to the video to do with servicing your regulator, simply remove the circ clip at the front, pop out the piston and spring, remove the adjuster screw, put the o-ring uh, stem seal back in place and hold it as suggested with a hollow tube such as a BIC pen, and then hold it in place while you reinsert the piston add the circ clip and put the adjuster screw back to its original position and that is the job simply done but I still receive quite a number of emails on a regular basis from people who have tried to fit the regulator without the breathe hole and then once they install the breathe hole get in a tizwas because the air is gushing out and it is simply because uh, the air gets into the regulator which is why it requires the breathe hole to start with now some people have said why you know why does this stem seal pop off why can't you encapsulate this uh, in an annular groove so as it doesn't pop off when the regulator fills with air well there's a very simple answer for that because if you imagine that this stem seal is fixed solid in place either into the stem or into the body case and then the internal chamber of the regulator fills with air and this air comes through the vent hole and presses on these seals uh, even a fairly small amount of air, 20 or 30 bar, pressing onto these seals means that it is impossible to push the regulator back and forth within the tube. So if the regulator is filled to 180, 200 bar and the air is trapped within there because the seal is captive, then you're in trouble because you cannot remove the regulator because the force on these two seals is so great that the regulator is stuck in the tube. And so it is required that in some fashion uh, the air can uh, free itself from the chamber if you haven't drilled the breathe hole. And this is quite simply by popping off the stem seal. On the models before the Mark V there wasn't a circlip retainer at the front and uh, if you were daft enough not to drill the breathe hole the entire piston unit just popped out. And then like now it's a very simple case of just carefully taking the regulator to bits as in the servicing video and reassembling it. So please if you read the instructions properly and you watch all the videos that have been uploaded it really is vital that uh, the breathe hole is drilled within the reservoir or if you buy a regulator second hand that somebody thinks has broken or isn't working because the air was coming out but not told you and you install it and the air comes out of your breathe hole the chances are that it is this stem seal, well when I say chances, I think it's about a 99.9% .9 chance that it's this stem seal has become dislodged from the stem because somebody 
prior to you buying it has tried to install it. Now this advice goes not only for my regulators but it goes for anybody's regulators. If you buy a second hand Ripley regulator or a second hand Air Masters 88 regulator etc which are screwed together and it has, has got a captive seal at both ends then if you install this into your reservoir without drilling the breathe hole once it slowly fills up with air which I can guarantee you 100% it will do then removing this uh, regulator from the air reservoir to fix this problem is very very difficult on a couple of occasions people have installed air masters regulators that they've bought second hand from people uh, not drilled the breathe hole and then it's simply been a case of measuring down the cylinder with a ruler in each direction carefully marking the outside of the air reservoir as to where the o-rings are going to be and drilling the uh, reservoir whilst the air is in there so as to release it the only option